if you mention Paul Brady, people will often say straight away the legs of Pontchartrain. And, and maybe you'll tell us a little bit about where that came from. How, how did it become so synonymous with your, with your good self? Well, I first heard it sung by Christy Moore when he was in Planksty. Yeah. And that would have been the early 70s. And I then joined Planksty and took his place. And there was this big song hanging around. And I'm going, maybe I should try and sing this. Yeah. You know, so I picked it up and I worked up a guitar arrangement from it and I fell in love with it. And I then I recorded it on my first solo album, Welcome Here, Kind Stranger. And about three years after that, I get a phone call from um, my agent. And he says, Bob Dylan has heard this, this song, The Lakes of Poncho Train, and he wants to meet you. So I'm going, OK. Uh, he's coming over to London, he's doing Wembley Stadium. And so I fly over and uh, I go backstage and I meet Bob. And he, he said, uh, you know, hello, very, very courteous. And then he said, this song, The, the Lakes of Poncho Train. He said, um, I have to get the guitar to, ex yeah, yeah, to express this. Yeah. He said, The Lakes of Poncho Train. How do you play that? So I, first of all, I said, well, you have to tune the guitar differently. Yeah. Because that's how it sounds, the way it sounds. So he gave me his guitar and I tuned it up and I said, so you do it like this, you see. He said, oh, yeah. And I said, you want to try it? Your turn. So he's playing it like, you know, and it's, you know, he's kind of going and it's, it's not happening, you know, and I'm sort of going, uh, no, you do it like this, you know, and, and eventually I'm going, the only way this is going to happen yeah. is if I actually take his fingers and go, no, you put that finger there, and, but he's Bob Dylan, you know. So what do you do? I mean, like I mean, a, like a child. I, yeah, yeah. So I, I take his fingers and I go, no, you do that, <laughs> and you do that, and he goes, okay, yeah. right. So that yeah. was how Bob Dylan learned oh, how to great. play it. You literally had to pick his fingers off. Yes, yeah. and he, he toured quite often singing the song after yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he had a good teacher. Thanks for punching your song. It's a, train. it's a magical song because it's, it's, the, the context of it is quite confusing. It's from the southern states of America, and it comes from somewhere in the 19th century, uh, uh, the early 19th century, uh, when, like, the Spanish, the French, and the British, and the Americans were all kind of trying to carve out the Caribbean yes. and all that. So uh, it's confusing as to where it comes from, but it's a very big love song and it's, 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 uh, it's kind of unrequited love in a very beautiful way.